Hey, partner, you have to check out the new club on the waterfront. I was there last night. Club. Waterfront. I've got a wife and child. I went to bed early. The last time I was in a club, they were still taking Deutschmarks. Man, you're grumpy again. I didn't sleep well. Control to all units. Accident reported with multiple injuries at the 44-kilometer marker. A vehicle has been forced off the road by two speeding drivers. Are our test drivers out again? No idea. There are enough speeders out there as it is without those prototype test pilots. Car 14 to control. Two suspect drivers have hit and run. They're still on the Autobahn. We're having trouble keeping up. Oh, great. There's all sorts of action kicking off on the Autobahn, and we're stuck in here writing reports. to control. Two speeding vehicles are disrupting traffic and causing more accidents. They're trying to force us off the road. Officers in need of assistance. Control to all units. Block all exits in case they try to leave the Autobahn. Cars 8 and 14, try and stop them. I can't listen to this anymore. Should I close the door? Come on, Samir. Let's go and hunt those guys down. Forget it, Ben. Our freshly polished car will only end up trash and give the boss another chance to have a go at us. Spoil sport. One of the cars is heading for the exit. Damn, he's much too fast. The other one is staying on the Autobahn. We're trying to keep up. Whoa! The suspect has lost control. Serious accident. Cars exploded. Repeat. Serious accident. We need an ambulance and the fire department. Serious accident. Samir, move your ass. Now it's our turn. Okay, you win, Ben. This is definitely a case for the Autobot police. Bored? I didn't get much sleep. Were you hanging around the clubs all night again? Hanging around? I had a toothache. How come? I get it now and then. I should really get it pulled. I see. You're one of those kind of guys who do anything for an adrenaline rush, but freaks out when they have to go to the dentist. Aha. Uh -huh. I just don't like the sound of the drill. Then let's do it the hard way. Hard way? We'll find some tough guy, you annoy him, and he'll punch you in the jaw. Very funny. Samir, Ben, are you reading me? Hey, Hardmutt. Anything new from forensics? We've had a good look at the car involved in the accident. Well, what was left of it, it was pretty much burned out. Yeah, Hardmutt, we know. 
Have you found out anything about the driver? That was a bit tricky. Hartman, the suspense is killing me. Yes, we've identified the body. Is the report ready? It's already on the boss's table. Then the case is closed. What happened yesterday was surely an accident, but there's no explanation for the bullet holes we found in the wreckage. Did you say bullet holes? Yes, and the drunken fender. The back window was also shattered by a projectile before the accident occurred. Doesn't sound like the case is closed. I knew you'd be intrigued. Yes, Hartman, we certainly are. Thanks, Hartman. We'll have a look at the report. Shall we drive to the station and see what the boss thinks? I think we better investigate. about to park a few meters from your desk? Don't bother getting out. The boss has gone to investigate the deceased's apartment. You're to rendezvous with her there as quickly as possible. Understood. We're on our way. Samir, Ben, there's not a shred of evidence to be found here. It's sparsely furnished, no mementos or souvenirs, no signs of his past, family, or friends. That sounds a bit like a case of false identity, boss. That's the impression I get, too. We'll talk about that later. When I arrived here, I noticed a car waiting outside the apartment. It matches the eyewitness accounts of the second speeding car. It'll be long gone by now. It's parked by the side of the road. It would appear the driver is watching me, perhaps waiting for me to leave again. You'd better stay in the apartment, then. We'll be there soon to take care of him. Is he at least in a low parking zone? No, and I think we should just watch him first. Wait and see what he does when I step out of the apartment. So we should keep our distance? Yes, I'll be the bait. Keep an eye on him without attracting attention. Understood, boss.
There's not a shred of evidence to be found here. It's sparsely furnished, no mementos or souvenirs, no signs of his past, family or friends. That sounds a bit like a case of false identity, boss. That's the impression I get too. We'll talk about that later. When I arrived here, I noticed the car waiting outside the apartment. It matches the eyewitness accounts. We'll be long gone by now. It's parked by the side of the road. It would appear the driver is watching me, perhaps waiting for me to leave again. You'd better stay in the apartment then. We'll be there soon to take care of him. Is he at least in a no parking zone? No, and I think we should just watch him first. Wait and see what he does when I step out of the apartment. So we should keep our distance? Yes, I'll be the bait. Keep an eye on him without attracting attention. Understood, boss. Position, boss. You can go outside now. Okay. Look at that. The guy's following her. Then we'll follow him. Speed it up, boss. We'll see if he tries to keep up with you. back to the station. We'll stick with him. Samir, I think he realized he's being followed. Buckle up. He's making a break for it. That's not gonna do him any good. So politely. Why isn't he stopping? I guess he's not in the mood for a chat. But I'm not in the mood to follow him anymore. All right, then let's put an end to this. Nudge to the back of the car, put it into a spin, stop in front of him, and then politely but firmly invite him for a coffee. That sounds very professional. Let's do it.
professionally stopped. So let's have a chat with our new friend. The boss. Samir, Ben, have you got anything on the suspect? We've questioned him. Unfortunately, there's no way he could have been the driver involved. He's got an alibi. We've already checked it out, and it's watertight. He was having surgery at the time. It must have been his car, but he wasn't driving it. The car was in the garage while he was in surgery. We'll go over there and find out if someone took it out for me to test drive. Why was he watching me at the apartment? He was apparently there to buy a digital camera from someone. He saw you go into the building and then waited for you to come out again. So he was waiting for me? Yeah, he thought you looked pretty hot, got curious, and that's why he followed you. It all got a bit too much for him when you parked up at the police station. He thought you'd inform the police and that was why we were following him. Nothing personal, boss. Uh, of course you're an attractive woman, but his story sounds a bit dubious to me. Ben, thank you for the compliment. But I agree, his story does sound a bit strange. We'll see what a visit to the garage brings. Can I help you? We hope so. We're Audubon Police. This car was here for repair yesterday, right? Yes, I remember it. Did someone take it out for a test drive afterwards? Of course. That's part of the service. Then we'd very much like to know who took it out. Our very own speed junkie worked on it, and he took it for a spin afterwards. Can we talk to him? He's not here. He's off for the rest of the week. We'll need his name and address. Where else could we find him? Pretty well anywhere you'd find guys hammering hell out of competition engines. Thanks. Hey, Ben, where'd you find a competition engine? See, Samir? That's what happens when you push around a baby buggy for years on end. We're off to the racetrack.
fellas, you can't park here. There'll be a couple of motorhomes arriving soon. They need the space. Just a quick question. We're looking for a certain Patrick Bowman. Oh, so are we. He hasn't been here recently? Only yesterday. Signed up for the club race at short notice. He should have been here ages ago. We'll be starting in a few minutes. Then we'll wait if you don't mind. Perhaps he'll turn up. I've got a better idea. You've got the right kind of car to take part in the race. Show us what you've got. Sounds good. Don't want to start gathering dust now, do we?
bad part of town. Sinister. Man. Yeah, creepy. The syndicate hang out here. Gonna be happy. Another patrol car for the scrap heap. Someone called and asked for you to. He wanted to meet you. He said he has some tips for you. Tips about what? He didn't want to say, only wanted to talk to you. But it seemed to be pretty important. Okay, we'll meet him. Where and when? At the car park by the train station, level three at noon. That's in five minutes. <laughs> well, get a move on.
around the city, please. Let's go. Hey, we're not tour guides. This is not for my pleasure either. So it's Mr. Zucker who was having surgery while someone else was speeding around the Autobahn in his car. The gentleman who followed our boss because he found her so attractive. Did you arrange this meeting so you could ask us for a telephone number? My real name is Frank Free. I'm a detective chief inspector from the Federal Criminal Police Office. A colleague? This just gets better and better. Organized crime unit Berlin, presently working undercover. The man killed on the Autobahn was my partner. Is that why we couldn't find any personal effects in his apartment? Exactly. I don't know how his cover was blown. If he hadn't been killed in the accident, then I'm sure he would have been shot. That at least explains the bullet holes in his car. So the maniac in your car was chasing your partner to try and get rid of him. Yeah, the maniac is a member of the syndicate that we infiltrated a few weeks ago. Syndicate? A powerful underground organization has formed here over the course of the last few months. Countless members from all nationalities, Arabs, Chinese, Italian, Russian, and almost every type of crime, car theft, drugs, arms trading, extortion, bribery, robbery. Here, in our city. In every backyard, in every garage, in every warehouse, in every corner of the city. Are you still on the case? Yeah, I'm still on the case. But I don't know how my partner's cover was blown, or whether they'll find me out too. We knew about each other, but worked separately, through the same internal contact in the department. Perhaps there's a leak somewhere. I can't trust anyone anymore. Why do you trust us? It's most unlikely that the Audubon police are involved in organized crime. If you are, then I'm finished. You're in luck. But why are you telling us all this? I'll give you information as much as I can get. If they catch me, like they did my partner, you'll have everything you need and we won't have lost our lives for nothing. Oh great, you're on the move, hanging around in bars and restaurants, and what do we do? Light up your reports? To start with, until you see how it all works. Then we can work together against the Syndicate. I want this assignment finished as quickly as possible. I do plan on going back home at some point, so... Really? Have we really got a choice? Depends. Do you have a career or a calling?